Hey everybody, Invisible Katana here doing a yay or nay video for the Snipper Clips video game coming out for the Nintendo Switch. Um, this is an interesting little game. Like when I first saw it, I was like, I like this. I think it's a simple idea. It's a cute little puzzle game. It's um, a co-op puzzle game. It's only two players. Or at least I believe it's two players. It could end up being more. I wouldn't be surprised if they made this into like a crazy, you know, four-player uh, co-op sort of thing. But for now, uh, from what I saw during the New York event, it was just a little two-player co-op game. You play as these little figures and you guys, you know, both players can cut each other into different shapes. And that's pretty much it. That's all you do. The characters make these cute little faces. You can cut yourselves or cut each other into like an, almost an infinite number of shapes. And that's how you solve the puzzles. And that's it. It was very simple and I thought it was really fun. I thought it was like a cool little game. And I like the idea that it's a good co-op game. It's a puzzle game. It's a cutesy sort of game at the same time, and based off what I saw, it's definitely a fun looking game where it's like, okay, well, you think to make this shape, but I would think to make this shape, and we can do both and kind of combine that idea to get to the next level. And it's really cool. Like, sometimes you have to catch stuff, sometimes you have to be in a certain shape so that you can get through a small area to like push a button or something like that. And I thought it was really cool. It's like, I like this idea, it's very simple, and I'm going through right now. And I remember this game um, actually being pretty cheap. I believe that it is, I want to say, actually 30 bucks, which is really insanely cool. Um, and so I'm looking up the price for it right now, and I want to say that it's 30 bucks. But I don't... Well, there she goes. I knew it was going to happen at some point. Once the kids start walking around the neighborhood, it's like she goes on, Sadie! She'll keep barking because she, she's a dog, that's what she wants to do. But I'm trying to find it on here, but I do believe that it's actually like a $30 game, which is really good. Um, it makes me wonder, because they did this for 30 bucks, but they couldn't do one two switch for 30 bucks, and they're charging a full $50 price for that game, which I'm sure very fast will be dropping down to 30 or if not 20 bucks. But I can't seem to find it on here. There was some website I went to before, I forgot what it was, but it definitely showed um, a much cheaper price. But it's not going to be a $50 game. I believe it's either 20 or 30 bucks. And I like that idea. Yeah, okay, so this says the game is only 20 bucks. So, that's insane to me. Like, I think that's a great idea. It's a, a simple little puzzle game. It's a co-op game. It's 20 bucks. And it seems like it's fun. It could be good just to have as like a cool little idea. You could play drunk and it would be funny for adults. You could play sober and it's fun for adults. Anyone who likes puzzles. It seems like a great game for kids as a learning game, but it's also fun at the same time where you could, I mean, you'd probably be frustrated if you're playing with a kid who's just, you're trying to teach them and help them learn. That'll get frustrating, but it seems like a good learning game for children as well. And I'm like, I like the idea of this game um, I love the fact that it's only 20 bucks, like, that's what, then that's what one two switch should have been, is 20 or 30 bucks, and I don't know what's gonna happen with that game, it should have been packed in, I don't know, uh, that game should have been packed in, but, the, that's a whole, that's another video that I'm probably gonna do at some point, being mad about that, but, I love the idea of this game, I like that it's 20 bucks, I like what I've seen so far, I'm curious how long the game is going to be, if it's like, you know, it's 20 bucks, so maybe it'll be like a five to six hour game total. Um, maybe they'll add like user generated content, which I think could really work for this sort of game. Something very simple, um, based on what we saw, everything's in like this one little uh, room, so it's not like you move to different rooms, it's just, here's the puzzle you're in, they had stuff where you had to m turn yourself into a hook to like drag some balloons down and then the other person had to be in the shape of like a needle to pop the balloons. Um, there's one where they had to get the basketball in the hoop. So there's definitely stuff in there where it, it has a variety as to what the different shapes um, not only allow you to do, but what the different items are going to force you to do uh, with these certain shapes. So. I like the idea a lot with that. Uh, you can rotate, so if you cut yourself into a certain shape, you can rotate that shape around. And I was like, that's a good idea. You know, it's a good idea. You can stand on top of each other. Uh, like, of course, you know, fitting into shapes was the simple side of the puzzle. Like, the first two levels, it was like, well, just fit into this shape. 
And then it was like, all right, now you need to cut yourself into shapes to get these items and stuff. And I was like, I like this idea. It's very simple, very fun. Um, the cool, you know, cute little funny designs of the faces of the characters and stuff. And I'm excited to see where they take this. I'm curious to see how much further this goes along. They've, Like I said, they've already announced that it's going to be a $20 game. So I'm curious how much more development they're really going to, you know, put resources into if they're only charging, you know, 20 bucks. Because this definitely seems like the type of game that could go on for quite a while, especially if they do um, at some point add in the option for user-generated content. This is almost like the perfect game for that. Just make up a puzzle and it's like, well, the plan is to use this shape or you can use a million different types of shapes or whatever, but get this thing to here, something like that. So. I feel like that's a logical next step for them is to allow user-generated content based off of, you know, what items, uh, what resources they put into the actual game itself, but I like this one. I can't officially say uh, yay on this just yet. Like, I do think it's a great looking game. The fact that it's $20 is definitely amazing, and I do like what I see so far. I think I just need to see a little bit more to know for sure if I'm going to get this one. Like, I, every once in a while I have one where it's like, I'm kind of in between, I might get this, I might not get it. This one, uh, even with the cheaper price, it's a, it's a cheaper price because it's a simpler game. So that's something I do have to kind of put into consideration. Like, if it was, you know, like a new Uncharted game, they're like, yeah, it's only 20 bucks. That's a yay. Like, yeah, it's Uncharted for $20. This is a $20 game, which is great, but it's also just a simple co-op puzzle game. So, you know, there's elements to that. Like, how exciting am I going to get? How, how exciting is the game going to get as I keep playing it? Is it going to diminish over time? You know, that sort of thing. Replay value. If there's user-generated content, that would be a huge, huge bonus for, you know, just a $20 price tag. And that might be it. Like, if it really, if they end up doing that, that might pretty much be it. And I'll, I'll definitely get the game. But for now... Uh, I'm leaning towards a yay, for sure. I'm, I'm leaning towards that with the cheap price as well as just fun-looking gameplay. But it's the type of game where I feel like, you know, it, you could probably do a single-player thing. I don't know if it's strictly co-op. Um, or maybe they do it where, you know, you can switch control between the two characters if you're playing solo. But with that being the main aspect of it is, as a fun co-op game, that's another part where it's like, well, I'm not always going to play the game with somebody else, or I'll only play this game with other people, which will definitely limit how often I play it. Or, you know, if I do decide, well, screw it, I want to play, I haven't played in forever, because I haven't had someone to play with me, I end up playing by myself, it's like, yeah, it's just not as cool, you know, when you play it solo. So, it, you know, it's that kind of stuff you have to consider, but... Right now, definitely leaning closer towards yay uh, for me, but we'll love to know where you guys stand. So is it yay, nay, you guys kind of somewhere in between. Um, I love the pricing for it. Like I said, I think the price is probably going to be a big factor as to how much this game does end up selling. It seems like a cool puzzle game. Uh, great for kids, great for adults. Probably hilarious if people get drunk and start trying to figure out shapes and puzzles. But I'm excited for it. I I'm definitely curious to see more of what this game really has to offer, more of the levels, how advanced things really get. Um, they show, like I said, like three or four different types of levels, like, all right, fit into the shape, that's simple enough. And then one was, you know, push a button and um, put the basketball through the hoop. Um, another was you had to, like, guide this wheel across a path, and you had to block it so it couldn't fall down the, a hole and stuff like that. And I like those ideas, and that's the type of stuff that makes me think, they could easily go with user-generated content if, you know, you let other people make the paths that this little thing has to follow. And I just think that's a really cool idea. So hopefully they end up doing that. I think it would just be the perfect addition to this game to have user-generated uh, puzzles. But even if they don't have that, I am still curious as to what new elements they're going to add and, you know, what they're going to show us, how expansive these levels do get if it does go beyond just the one room section that they showed off in the New York uh, Treehouse event. But right now, definitely leaning closer towards EA for this one. But like I said, we'll love to know where you guys stand on this one. So please put your comments down in the comment section below. And thanks for watching.